Hi everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. My name is Randy. So today is day two of Comedy Week. Today we are checking out a clip from Robin Williams. It says Live at the Met and the title is Alcohol slash Marijuana. Um, I of course know who Robin Williams was. It's very, very sad when um, he passed away. But anyway, without further ado, let's go. Damn! A little sip of Perrier here. I had to stop drinking alcohol because I used to wake up nude and hood in my car with my keys in my ass. <laughs> Not a good thing. Hi, right, can I help you? No, thanks. It's just flooded. I'll be okay. <laughs> beautiful, baby. Beautiful, yeah. Because you're sucked into drinking beer by believing it's a healthy thing. All these beer commercials usually show them big men, manly men doing manly things. You've just killed a small animal. It's time for a light beer. <laughs> Why not have a realistic beer commercial? What's the realistic thing about beer where you go, it's five o'clock in the morning. You've just pissed on a dumpster. It's Miller time. <laughs> it's a scary thing because you realize the first purpose of alcohol is to make English your second goddamn language. <laughs> Eventually, you may be quite fluent. You may be a Nobel Prize physicist. After my maybe nine, ten Heinekens, you're going, I <laughs> <laughs> You're speaking fluent drunken ease, bravo. <laughs> Next thing you know, you get a couple more beers, you've got a friend in a headlock going, I love you, little fucker, I love you. <laughs> That's the kind of love I have for you, baby, goddamn it. Ah, on you work your way beyond beer. You go beyond beer, you start into wine. For the very elegant people, people, a lot of people who are very elegant are in Montauk going, damn it, I wish I could have been there, but no, I'm not. Some people who have, you know, I don't know whether they have the red wine with the fish or the chicken. What's the matter, asshole? They're dead. <laughs> the chicken's not going to reach up from the plate and go, the red wine. <sighs> it's over with. No, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about pui fusse or pussy fussy. Uh-uh. He said what? I'm talking about mad dog. He didn't, he's not talking about what? He's talking so fast. Thankfully, I've heard all of it, most of it. Anyway. The red wine. <sighs> <laughs> it's over with. No, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about pui-fusse or pussy-fussy, uh-uh. Pussy-fussy? I'm talking about Mad Dog 2020. Mm. You know, the very elegant wine, the type of wine with a lovely screw top, a bottle of which after you can actually see vapor trails as people pass you. <laughs> How you doing? Well, <laughs> 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 you've gone too far, and you must pay your dues. This is why I had to give up alcohol, because you have to pay the next day. Pay, dear Lord, please don't hurt me now. <laughs> there you are lying in bed, and you feel like the scene from the movie The Fly going, Help me! Help me! The entire room is spinning like a roulette wheel. Place your bets. Place your bets. <laughs> and there's the old toilet in the corner going, Talk to me. <laughs> And you try and walk slowly, but you feel like the elephant man in a car wash. <laughs> There's things in front of you like the stuff that scares the water off cars. You can't do it. Even your dog's looking at you like, you wouldn't believe the shit you said to me last night. <laughs> I had to back out of the room. I was that scared. <laughs> you promised me an evening with Lassie, you lying bastard. <laughs> yes, you've got an alcoholic problem. You do, and the worst part is there are times when you drink so much you don't remember what you've done the night before. And you get those little phone calls where people let you know. Yeah. What? Yeah? Really? I took a dump in your tuba. <laughs> oh my God, he said sit in with the band. I'm sorry. You said what? Oh God, it's over. I spoke over it. Oh my God, he said sit in with the band. I'm sorry. Sit oh in with the band. Oh God, it's over. Oh, don't you see? It's all over, God damn it! And then the next thing you know, there you are at Betty Ford Hospital going, I'm fine now. <laughs> I'm a reformed alcoholic. <laughs> I feel so much better about myself. <laughs> I'm fine. No, you have that double vodka. I'll be over in the corner kicking the cat. <laughs> I realized when I became a reformed alcoholic, I said, hey, I'm the same asshole, I just have fewer dents in my car. <laughs> and then there are your friends who smoke marijuana going, yeah, man, alcohol's a crutch. <laughs> really? Really, Captain Herbal Life? <laughs> really? God, 
You just macrameed your ass into the couch and you're giving me shit? <laughs> Remember when you get so stoned you can actually see a fly in space going... Mm. <laughs> and when you get stoned, your discretion goes out the window. Mm. You could be eating kitty litter going, mm, this is crunchy, man. <laughs> The horrible thing is people who get stoned try and get their animal stoned to make them feel better. <laughs> it's not bad enough that you proved that Darwin was wrong. You're going to take the whole family with you. <laughs> There's your dog going, please don't do this to me. <laughs> I've just learned to lick my own genitals. Leave me alone. <laughs> don't do this to me. <laughs> and your dog, you're going to go, hey, Farfel. <laughs> dog, goes, whoa, my tail, my tail. <laughs> don't do it. Don't push him back down the food chain. Don't do that. <laughs> and don't mess with your cat because he's looking at you like, give it your best shot, man. <laughs> I've been doing catnip since the day I was goddamn born. <laughs> Come on, you blow it in his face. He's like, <sighs> all of a sudden he's Ram Kitty. <laughs> he looks at you like the first thing I'm going to do, man, is climb you like a goddamn curtain. Then <laughs> <laughs> a double dismount. <laughs> Then 15 times around the house real quick. <laughs> Scare the shit out of the kid. <laughs> then outside by the window making this noise. <laughs> like a baby in a blender. <laughs> and you're inside stone going, oh God, help me now. <laughs> and the next thing is you start to get hungry. You think you can leave the house, you liar. You think, I'm gonna be fine, man. I've gotta got leave the house, I'm gonna be okay. If you could just find your goddamn feet, yeah, you'll be okay. <laughs> then you think you can drive. You think, yeah, I'll be okay. I'll drive, I'll drive, I'll be okay. And you have one of those new Japanese cars where you open the door and it goes, your door is open. <laughs> and if you're stoned, you're going, I knew that. <laughs> so you get in the car, you think, yes, I'm now, I've got it. I'm, oh, the keys, okay, fine, the keys, fine. Okay, reverse. Fine. Okay. <laughs> then you're going down the freeway. You think you're traveling at light speed. You think Scotty's sitting next to you going, Jim, you can't push it any faster. <laughs> it's just a shovel Jim. Don't grave it over the edge. <laughs> Your hair is blowing in the wind, and the window isn't even open. <laughs> <laughs> you're that stone. You turn on the radio. What is he look? What is he look? You understand everything. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly on the radio, man stoned on freeway. How do they know? How do they know? God damn it. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Suddenly in the rearview mirror, red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. How patriotic. Yeah. Shut the police. Eat everything in the ashtray. Eat everything in the ashtray. <laughs> oh, God. I'll oh, pull it over. Pull it over. All of a sudden, you start rehearsing. What seems to be the problem, officer? What seems to be the problem, officer? What seems to be the problem? I'm fine. I'm fine. What seems to be the problem? Nice day, officer. What seems to be the problem? Usually, you're stopped by a motorcycle cop. He gets off his bike like, God, am I incredibly well endowed. <laughs> I'll get your door. <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> From inside your car comes this Colombian sauna like, <clears throat> suddenly he's going, I'm hungry, I don't know why. <laughs> You're looking at him. You've rehearsed your line. What seems to be the problem? What seems to be the problem? You look at him and go, <laughs> Look at him, his face turns into a cheeseburger. You lunge! <laughs> Next thing you know, you end up in a cell. Go, please don't hurt me. <laughs> but the truth is, you wake up and you're still on the couch at home. <laughs> You've never left. You're still there! That was a big change. The uh, comedy clips that I've been watching for this week, they end so abruptly, it makes me sad. That was good. I, I want to say, like, at some point, maybe five years ago, my husband and I watched something with him doing stand-up. I don't think it was a full special. I think it was a clip or something. But that was funny. I, I think that I should go back and watch Robin Williams' stand-up because it looks, it looks really good. Um, I don't know. It was funny. It relatable. Um... Oh, the cat thing reminded me of this cat I used to have. I named her Lebu, and she was evil. Anyway, I enjoyed it. Thank you very much for the recommendation. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. <laughs>